Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off to Starlink 2-8. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg's Space Launch Complex 4 East at 12.26 p.m. Pacific Time. This is our fifth launch from Vandenberg just this year. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you heard that call out for Max Q. This means that the vehicle is currently experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through Earth's atmosphere on its way to space. We're just about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when those two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for the, those events because they're going to be happening in rather quick succession. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back at ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you have those events. Uh, again, that was Miko, stage step, SES-1, and as you saw, fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's missions are flight proven and are flying for the fifth time. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's that confirmation that the stage one landing burn has begun in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Just coming into frame now on the left hand side of your screen. Stage one landing lug deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 179th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including F-9 and Falcon Heavy missions.